Hello and welcome to the Orwell Astronomical Society podcast for February 2014. This month the days continue to lengthen, but this time of year tends to give a number of cold clear nights, so hopefully plenty of opportunities to see the stars. The Milky Way is something that you don't see too often these days, given the ever-increasing light pollution around us. But if you manage to get away from any lights on a really clear night, look for a hazy band going across the sky. This month, at around 8 o'clock in the evening, it will be going from the northwest to the southeast. If you look at this band through binoculars, you will see that it is in fact millions of stars packed close together. We are looking towards the centre of our galaxy, which we call the Milky Way, after this milky white hazy band. The galaxy is a very large, flat, rotating spiral of billions of stars. And we're about two-thirds of the way out from the slight bulge at the centre of the spiral. And when we look towards the centre, we see this vast collection of stars stretched out in a band across our sky. To confirm that you are seeing the Milky Way, spot Cassiopeia, the W-shaped constellation in the northwest. The Milky Way runs straight through the middle of Cassiopeia. Now on to the Moon. Full Moon this month is on the 14th, but as February is so short, and with the Full Moon falling exactly in the middle of the month, there is no new Moon in February this year. And now on to the planets that are visible this month. Mercury is well placed, especially around the beginning of the month, and it can be seen after sunset in the west-southwest at around 9 degrees above the horizon. Venus becomes a morning object, best seen at the end of the month, just before sunrise in the southeast. And something to look out for on the 26th of the month, the crescent moon and Venus make a nice close approach to each other. Again, look out for them just before sunrise. Mars is quite good this month. Look out around 3.30 in the morning, towards the end of the month, and you will see Mars in the constellation of Virgo to the south at about 29 degrees above the horizon. It is near our old friend Spica, the brightest star in Virgo. Mars should look good through a small or medium-sized telescope. Jupiter is still magnificent to, to look at in the evening. Again, an obvious bright object high in the sky in the constellation of Gemini. So look out for it in the south around 10.30 p.m. or thereabouts. Binoculars on a tripod will give great views of the four Galilean moons and possibly some detail on the planet itself. Saturn is still a morning sky object, best seen around 5am. Look out for the bright yellow object in the south at around 20 degrees above the horizon. The rings will be a magnificent sight in even a small telescope or binoculars. Now there are no meteor showers worth looking out for this month, so on to constellation watching. This month we are going to concentrate on the North Celestial Pole. First, find the North Pole Star, Polaris. Remember to use the pointers of the plough to locate it. Now, if you're in a very dark location, try to make out the Little Bear, Ursa Minor, which is a similar saucepan shape to the plough, but this time has the Pole Star at the end of the handle, or the Little Bear's tail. We have already looked at Cassiopeia earlier, on the opposite side of the Pole Star from the plough, now look to the north of the Pole Star, and there are a lot of not very bright stars, most of which belong to the constellation Draco the Dragon. To the south of Polaris, between the Plough and Cassiopeia, we find a faint set of stars that form the obscure Camelopardalis, or the Giraffe. I hope that this podcast has given you some ideas of what to look out for this month. There is plenty more out there to see, and I recommend that you look on the internet astronomy magazines, or in an astronomy book or sky map to show you what else is out there and where to look for it. Don't forget the ever-useful planisphere that tells you what's where at any date and time of the year, and these are readily available from most good bookshops. That's all for this month. Listen out next month for March's highlights. Bye for now. (laughs) 